what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Xcode tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to apply a button to your navigation bar in Xcode. So to get started, start up Xcode and create a new project. I'm then going to make a single view application and I'm going to call this navigation bar button for the purpose of the video. I'm then going to save it to my desktop. Now we want to go to our main storyboard and here we'll have a view controller already. We don't want this view controller, so we're going to delete it. Click on it and delete it. We're then going to just make our little objects bar. Remember to go onto the cube where the objects are and just going to drag in a navigation a view controller. So we're going to just click on this root view controller and we're going to delete it. We're then going to drag in four more view controllers. So before we do any of the other uh, three, we're just going to drag. Uh, control click and drag or right click and drag from the navigation controller to the view controller and click on root view. We're now going to drag in three more view controllers. It doesn't really matter where you place them at the moment, you just need to be able to drag to them. So keep them pretty close. And then just going to double click on here so it zooms in. And I'm going to call this by double clicking here home. I'm then going to scroll down my objects and find bar button item. So here we can just drag and it pops into place and I'm going to double click on it and call this one 1 and call this one 2. I'm then going to also drag in a button just to show you that you can use uh, all of this space for buttons as well as these um, tab bar buttons. They work just like a normal one. So I'm just going to double click on this and call this 3. So what I'm going to do now is going to, I'm going to right click and drag or control drag onto my first view controller and click push. Here it's now connected and I'm going to double click here and type 1. I'm now going to do the same for 2 and the same for 3. I'm just going to rename them to numbers they were connected to. So this is going to be 2 and this one is going to be 3. Right, so now I'm going to just start up the iOS simulator by pressing the play button in the top left hand corner. Then just get the iOS simulator up. Now you can see we have the home view controller just there. So if I click on one, it takes me to page one. Go click home again, and two, home, three, home. There you go. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. And if you need any help, please uh, drop me a comment or message me via Twitter. 